human being immobilized for a long period of time due to injury or sickness suffers bone loss and may never fully return to his former condition. The black bear does not feed during hibernation. That may give rise to the following question. From where does it obtain the calcium necessary for bone production? Donahue thinks that the calcium released by bone loss is reabsorbed by the body and recycled in bone production. One of the reasons why he believes this is because the black bear has no excretory or urinary activity during hibernation. Seth Donahue sets out his thoughts in these terms. We're most interested in how bears recycle calcium. That's most likely regulated by specific hormones. Osteoporosis begins with weakening of the bone tissue and can lead to fractures and breakage related deaths in the advanced stages. Aging is a major risk factor in the development of osteoporosis. Bone tissue is constantly being renewed. However, bone production is only maintained at a high level until the age of 30 to 35. After 45, bone breakdown starts to increase. Many people today suffer from this disease. Scientists studying bare bones in terms of resistance, permeability, and mineral density obtained a very surprising finding. According to the results of the study, age has no effect on bare bones. In addition, as the bear grows older, the resistance and mineral density of its bones actually increase significantly. The research team particularly focused on the parathormone secreted by the parathyroid gland. They were surprised to observe that the structure of this hormone differs from that of the parathormone in the human body. Scientists are now trying to identify the origin of the difference between the two hormones and to produce a synthetic version that mimics the function of the bear hormone. Success may lead to the production of a new drug for osteoporosis sufferers. All this research may change the methods used by doctors in the treatment of osteoporosis and play a significant role in reducing bone problems, not only in the bedridden and elderly people suffering bone wastage, but also in astronauts who spend long periods of time in space. Most people feel very fit when they take regular exercise. Yet the black bear is equally fit when it wakes from its months of hibernation. According to a study published in Nature magazine in 2001, black bears that remain almost totally immobile for months during hibernation suffer no significant loss in muscle strength and tissues. Henry Harlow from University of Wyoming and his research team established that black bears experience a 22% loss in muscle strength during hibernation and a protein loss of 10, 2, and 15%. In fact, these findings are quite astonishing because humans would lose 85% of their strength and 90% of their protein over a similar period. Several years ago, the physiologist Edgar Folt discovered that urea, a toxic substance expelled from the body under normal circumstances, was reabsorbed through the bear's bladder during hibernation. The nitrogen in urea is made available for recycling in the body and in the manufacture of protein. There is no such system in human beings, however. If a human being's urinary system fails to function for even a short time, the result is death from an accumulation of toxic toxic urea in the blood. Harlow thinks that urea meets part of the bear's protein requirements and that protein is also obtained from other sources. According to Harlow, like some species of snake that digest their own small intestines in the event of an urgent need for protein, bears may also draw on such labile protein reserves as visceral smooth muscle. Based on figures obtained from small thermometers they implanted on bears' bodies, the scientists concluded that black bears shiver on a regular basis during hibernation. They believe that regular shivering is a factor that protects muscle strength. According to the research team, understanding the system that protects the bears' muscles during hibernation 
can lead to a new conception in the treatment of muscle diseases linked to immobility in human beings. In fact, a hibernating bear is a potential source of inspiration for medical science in a number of respects. Drugs produced on the basis of substances produced in the bear's body may lead to new treatments for such diseases as kidney failure, diabetes, and obesity. As we have seen, with the features of their bodies, bears are shedding light on medical research. The qualities of bears understood by scientists only as the result of long years of work in the laboratory have existed in these animals from the moment of their birth. It is Almighty God who creates bears together with their perfect mechanisms, endows them with these mechanisms to take care of them over the long months of hibernation, who inspires their every action, and who rules over all living things in the earth and heavens. Our Lord has created these magnificent features in animals as evidence for human beings to reflect on. He reveals this in the Quran. And in your creation and all the creatures he has spread about, there are signs for people with certainty. living things on earth have been created with miraculous characteristics and amazing abilities. We can come across a wide variety of these creatures wherever we may live, and we can see these astonishingly different qualities in all species. There are some 10,000 species of birds, one class of the flawless living things on earth, each of which possesses its own miraculous features. One amazing member of the bird kingdom is the owl. Most owls are nocturnal. Night is a time of concealment and sleep for most living things, but it is a time for hunting for the owl. All their qualities have been created to allow these creatures to move with ease through the darkness. First and foremost, a creature that hunts by night has to be able to move silently. But most birds make a noise when they fly. The noise made by the wings of a flying swan, for instance, can be heard from a long distance. The wings of many large birds make a noise as they fly. Noisy wings are a major disadvantage in that intended prey becomes aware of an impending attack. But this problem has been resolved in the nocturnal owl through the special structure of its feathers. The owl's feathers are soft and the edges of their powerful wing feathers have a tasseled structure that enables them to fly. The velvet soft surface